We're going to work on the last of our assignments involving Google Docs and word processing. This one's to create a resume. It actually becomes helpful on a couple different notes. First of all, obviously, if you're going to be in the job market soon, uh, being able to put together a resume is a pretty much an essential thing. Secondly, in terms of word processing, this will give us the opportunity to work with templates. Templates are pre-formatted um, documents where the layout has already been determined for us and it becomes a matter of exactly how we fill in the blanks as it were. Now what we're going to do again is we're going to come up here to the 3x3 three three array of little squares. That's the Google Apps button. We're going to click on Docs. And this time what we're going to do is we're going to look at um, at a resume gallery. Now you may not have it quite the way I did. When you get, when you open the window, what you'll notice is that you'll have on the top of the screen, screen for the start a new document in blank or different templates. Uh, what we're going to do here is go to the te uh, template gallery, and what we're going to look for here is resumes, and the one that we're going to be looking for is the resume serif. Serif is a characteristic of many typefaces. And if you look over here and you see the little vertical line on a horizontal line rather on the bottom of the Y and on the tops of the Y, that's what we mean by a serif. The other thing you'll notice is that everything here is pretty much laid out for us. We have two columns. We have room for lots of little things along the way. And that's where we're going to uh, throw things in. Lorem ipsum is basically dummy text. Um, where it comes from is a long story. It's not an accident that it sounds somewhat Latin, but I don't think it's must mean anything special. And we're going to go on from there. Now, what I'm going to do in this case, and this is what you'll find on the handout that you'll find in the assignment itself, is the name here is going to be John Q. Smith. Now, when you actually do this, what I'm going to ask of you is that you actually put your real name in here. I am not expecting you to put in real information on any of the other parts. If you want to, that's your choice, but I'm by no means requiring it. If you fill it in with the fictitious information I'm giving you here, that's more than fine enough. Now, I'm not going to have anything listed below over here, so I'm going to highlight it and then delete. I am going to come over here, and the address is 2 South, and let me get that out of the way, South Avenue, Avenue. I'm going to come to the next line. This is going to be Garden City, and obviously the state is New York, NY, and this being Garden City, the code is 11530. And the phone number we're going to make up for this is going to be 516-555, and here, 2233. Again, I'm not expecting you to put in real information. The only piece of real information that I want on the whole thing is your name. Now that we've done that, I'm going to come below, and here I have the email address of John Q. Smith at Adelphi.edu. Now you'll notice that I what I could have done was highlighted the text and then typed it to replace it, or I can do it as I've been doing it all along, which is to add in my text and then delete. Uh, character by character. Uh, either way is fine. Now I'm going to come over here and um, in this case the experience I'm going to have and I think you'll see in a moment that I have a slightly warped sense of humor is the accounting firm of Dewey, Cheatham, and Howe. And this should be not Rockville, New York, but Rockville 
Center, New York. And the job in question, and we're going to stick with this here, is accounting intern. Now, the typefaces were chose deliberately. Uh, we won the name of the company in big letters, and the italics also sets off exactly what the job was here. Here, our title is going to be January. Twenty sixteen to the present, and again we're going to get rid of uh, uh, Lauren Ipsum, and we're going to replace it with prepared personal tax returns under the super vision of the partners. And you'll notice again, I have something here that is highlighted, underlined. So I will right click. Right click will allow me to see what I'm looking for, which is supervision. And that's perfectly fine. Um, not to put in a real company here, Targ Mart. You can tell where that's, I got that name from. And the location is Westbury. New York, where there happens to be both a Target and a Walmart. Stuckroom clerk. And this will be January 2016. To, and let me move the cursor out of the way so we can see what we're doing. Uh, December. 16. Now, if this doesn't add up to what a stockroom clerk would really do, and um, let me put it in here so I get the right stock room clerk, and here. Unloaded new merchandise, and I think I have an extra letter in there. Two, four, four storage in stock room, restocked store shelf. Shelves as unnecessary. Took inventory. That may show that I never worked in a stockroom, but that's okay. Now we don't have, in this case, a third one, so I'm going to delete it. Under education, the name of the school would go here Adelphi. University and I'll get rid of that. The location we know is here in Garden City and that should be a comma and not a, an M and the degree is B B A and this is going to be August 2014 to May 2018 major in oops in accounting deans Dean's list, spring 2015, fall 2015, spring 2016, 
fall 2016. Now, I'm going to throw in high school here. Uh, most of us at this point probably wouldn't, but this gives you an idea of what it can look like if we throw that in. Baldorf Academy. The location is Garden City, New York. And I'm going to put in... Now, the reason I'm going one letter in is to make sure that no matter what, I have the same formatting as the text around it. High School Diploma. I'll get rid of the text before it, after it, and I'll get rid of the D in front of it. Here, it's going to be September 2010 to June 2014. President of Student Government Member oops, of Procrastinators anonymous if we got around to it um, now I'm not gonna have any projects in here um, if you find that you have something like that to add in by all means feel free to add it in um, at this point a few other notes Licensed Realtor, yeah, I know, that's not what you'd necessarily expect. Certified Emergency Medical Technician. The languages here will be Hungarian, Swedish, and Cantonese. Um, we'll change awards here to activities and to keep everything looking the same we'll put this in in capital letters. President Nerds International Adelphi Chapter Board Member Circle K of Adelphi Former Bat Boy Long Island Ducks baseball team. Now on this note, we pretty much have everything that we want. What we'll do in this case, since I'm interested in getting it, copy of what you've done, we're going to download it not as a Word document, but as a PDF. And as you can see, it's opened on my screen. I'm going to do what I'm going to ask of you, which is to print out a copy. I'm going to save it, but I'm going to wait the minute for doing it. Um, you'll submit this online as with the other assignments. And that's pretty much it.